sickness in you. Oh, yeah, wave Say, bye bye to sickness in you. Oh, yeah, wave To the Lord. Oh, yeah, wave Oh, yeah, wave Oh, yeah, wave Say, bye bye to sickness in you. In the name of Jesus. 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 Bye bye to sickness, yo. Somebody give a lot of shout. Say bye bye to sickness, yo. In the name of Jesus. Every sickness is gone in Jesus' name. Bye bye to sickness. Every sickness is gone in Jesus' name. Bye bye to sickness. I can see you healing in Jesus' name. Bye bye to Every pain is gone in Jesus' name. Bye bye I say bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Every pain is gone in Jesus' name. Bye bye I am in the name of Jesus. Bye bye Every sickness is gone in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. What no man can do. Shout it, shout it, shout it, shout it. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Hey. Only you can heal what no man can heal, Jehovah. Only you can heal what no man can heal, Jehovah. Only you can turn. What no man can turn Jehovah. Only you can change. What no man can change Jehovah. Only you, only you, only you, only you. Only you can change. What no man can change Jehovah. Only you, Jesus. Only you, Jesus. Only you, Jesus. Only you. Only you can change. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can heal. What no man can heal, Jehovah. Only you can change. What no man can change, Jehovah. Only you can change. What no man can change, Jehovah. Only you can heal. What no man can heal, Jehovah. Only you can heal. What no man can heal, Jehovah. Excited to be in the house of God this Sunday. Put your hands together for Jesus and give him a shout of praise. Praise the Lord, I'm more than a conqueror. Congratulations. Please stretch your hands to your neighbor left and right. Uh, shake hands to your neighbor left and right. And uh, put those hands together for Jesus. And uh, please be comfortably seated. Hallelujah. We shall be calling ourselves to worship this morning from the book of Psalms 16. Psalm 16, and we shall read responsibly from verse 1 to the end. Psalm 16, we shall read responsibly from verse 1 to the end. And let's read with life. I read verse 1. Preserve me, O Lord, for in thee do I put my trust. But to the saints that are in the earth and to the excellent in whom is all my delight. Verse 5, the Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my Lord. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reigns also instruct me in the night seasons. Therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. Verse 11 together now. Thou will shew 
The path of life in thy presence is the fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. You shall experience pleasures from God's hand this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Put those hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord, I'm more than a conqueror. It's announcement time. Be blessed as you listen in Jesus' name. Number one, praise the Lord. Welcome to this healing banquet service. Any form of sickness, disease, or discomfort that came with you shall not return with you after this service in Jesus' name. Number two, as ambassadors of God's kingdom, we are all admonished to continue to reach out to the unsaved and follow up our new converts and other invitees until they are established in the faith and in this church. Meanwhile, next Saturday shall be our Operation Andrew District Soul Winning Outreach. All members are admonished to participate, and as you do so, your star shall surely shine. Time is 7 a.m. Number three, every member is admonished to attend the Covenant Hour Prayer from Monday to Saturday in Goshen, and other prayer centers displayed on the screen. Time is as applicable to each prayer center. Number four, next Wednesday we shall wait on the Lord in the fast and gather in the evening to make supplications and partake of the communion for supernatural healing, health, and wholeness. Endeavor to come along with your new converts and invitees. Time is 6 p.m. Number five, all members are admonished to attend the Winner Satellite Fellowship next Saturday with their new converts and other invitees to share fellowship with other brethren at the nearest center. Time is 5 p.m. Number six, praise the Lord. The August edition of the Word of Faith Bible Institute shall hold from tomorrow, Monday, the 15th to Friday, the 26th of August. Only the basic certificate course, BCC, shall be offered in Goshen, Maraba, Massacre, and New Karu Learning Center. All who are here to attend are admonished to obtain their enrollment forms. Please note that attendance is free for all new converts and first-time worshippers. Number seven, good news. Next Sunday is our Breaking Generational Courses service. Put your hands together for Jesus. Being our Operation Andrew Harvest Sunday, all members are admonished to prayerfully engage all through the week in bringing minimum one soul to next Sunday's service. Remember, only he that reaps and gathers them is entitled to receiving wages. You shall not miss yours in Jesus' name. All members are admonished to come also with their bottle of anointing oil. Time for the first service is 6.30 a.m. Second service is 8.30 a.m. And the third service is 10.30 a.m. Number eight, there shall be water baptism by immersion immediately after this service. All who are yet to do so since their new birth are admonished to gather the baptistry. Change of clothing shall be provided. Number nine, visit the Dominion Bookstore to purchase your copy of Books of the Month and other publications. You can also obtain flash drives containing the messages. Jesus is Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord, I'm more than a conqueror. It's testimony time. Please listen to the following documented testimonies. Number one, delivered from epilepsy. Celebrate Jesus for that. I joined this commission in the year 2015. Was afflicted with epilepsy immediately after the dedication of our house in the village for more than a year. Upon coming back to Abuja, I was advised by my own cell leader to see the bishop, which I did. The bishop laid hands on me and told me to go and return with my testimony, and I believed. Behold, since that day till now, the evil sickness has been terminated. I am free forever. I return all the glory to God for delivering and setting me free. The testifier is Obina Ezeviolli. Celebrate Jesus for that testimony. Number two, S.S. Tond A. Hay. My daughter had been my source of concern since her birth because she was born with S.S. genotype. In January 2017, she fell into crisis, so I called a brother in this church because I was already tired of taking her around for treatment. He told me to come to church to see the bishop. Following his advice... I came with eagerness in the month of February 2018. 
The bishop laid his hands on her and said a word of prayer. This is my testimony. SS was turned to AA. The testifier is Shashim Nuhu. Celebrate Jesus some more for that. Please, the following to quick, come forward and come to share testimonies. Mary Sunday, Florence Enyi. Mary Sunday and Florence Enyi. Please come forward quickly to the altar to share your testimony. Number three, documented testimony. Lump in the breast disappeared via prophetic declaration. I thank God for what he has done for me. About a month ago, I discovered a lump in my right breast. So during the midweek service, the Bishop Abiyo declared an end to whatever we do not want. I also discovered that my baby would always wake up in the middle of the night crying for no reason. After the communion and miracle praise session, the lump disappeared. Celebrate Jesus. And I also noticed that since then, my baby had been sleeping soundly. I return all of the glory to God. The testifier is James G. Give Jesus a big, big hand for that. My name is Sister Florence Amy. I've come to testify to this wonderful commission. Before I joined this commission, I was having oxa and a teeth egg. But by the power of God, through the blood and uh, blood and uh, uh, bread, everything disappeared. No more sickness in them, no more sickness in my body. And two, before I joined this commission, I struggled to get things. But God used favor from east, north, and south. Anywhere I traveled, I get favor. What I supposed to pay to, I traveled last two, two weeks. What I supposed to pay, God just grant me favor. Celebrate Jesus for that healing and supernatural favor. Prince Daniel Akume and Jennifer Sunday. Prince Akume and Jennifer Sunday, please come forward to also share your testimony. Praise the Lord. My, mail is, my name is Mary Sunday. I call to return all glory to the God of this commission. I present to serve in, in uh, unity, toilet A. So, in Apple like this, the eight children that God gave it to me, it is where we try, where we locate call this place. The old, my husband dodge the possibility, go and hide. I hope God with the praise and worship me. Thank you, God, that's like never before to God to change my story and my family. Today, what God done for me that I stand here inside these children, till I already been in Nigeria Navy, and inside the children, inside these children. My daughter, who is a junior in Lagos, God and make her to be a best student among the children. The school give her scholarship to travel to America. They pay for, they pay for my daughter. Free education for my daughter. Travel my daughter to outside country. So read the master in outside country for America. Only God can do it. Her husband abandoned her and the eight children today. Three are in the Nigerian Navy. One is going on scholarship to the United States of America to study for her master. Celebrate Jesus for that. Praise the Lord. My name is Jennifer Sunday. I came here to identify the goodness of the Lord for what God had done to my life. In Shiloh 2021, I came here. Our daddy asked us to light our prayer request. I light my pr first prayer request. I asked God for settle me down. And that is the year I went to my home. Immediately I went to my home, my husband came to me that he wants us to settle. I said, okay. Immediately I settled with my husband. I got pregnant. I gave baby t b to a baby boy. Celebrate Jesus for that miracle baby after 15 years of affliction. Give Jesus a big, big hand of praise. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Good morning, church. My name is Honorable Prince Daniel Akume. I was once 
a member of this church. But because of the blessing God has blessed me to this church, he sent me back. You know, I as, as a politician as I am, I contested for election for many years. I could not make it. When I, when an old man visited me on New Nyanyan, I won the election, and tomorrow is my inauguration. I am the APC national president. APC, go with you. Celebrate Jesus for all these testimonies. Today, you shall return with your own testimony. Give Jesus a big, big hand of praise. Come and put your hands together for those lovely testimonies. Hallelujah. In a moment, we shall be rising up to pray. Amen. And as we rise up, we shall be praying and saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to release your reaper angels in all our soul winning endeavors, thereby resulting in massive multitudes into the kingdom and this church. Somebody saying a louder amen. Matthew 13, 39. The harvest is the end of the world and the reapers are the angels. Let's rise to our feet and pray this prayer with faith in our hearts this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to release your reaper angels in all our soul winning endeavors, thereby resulting in massive multitudes into the kingdom. And this church, make sure you are praying this morning. Lift up your voice, open your mouth, pray with passion, pray with faith, pray with expectation. Pray, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to release your reaper angels in all our soul winning endeavors, thereby resulting in massive multitudes into the kingdom. And this church, somebody is praying. Pray, pray, pray. Maro sate parasato. In the lika paraskato. Resetele barakatara barakato. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to release your reaper angels in all our soul winning endeavors, thereby resulting in massive multitudes into the kingdom and this church. Father, in the name above all names, the name of Jesus, we pray this morning, continue to release your reaper angels that excel in strength in all our soul winning endeavors, thereby resulting in massive multitudes into the kingdom and this church. Are you calling on God with passion? God is a prayer answering God. Lift up your voice. Pray. Let God hear you. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to release your reaper angels in all our soul winning endeavors, thereby resulting in massive multitudes into the kingdom and this church. Rasotoro bobo la kata, endelebere rasotro boske prekete papa rasato, resetelebere kata. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to release your reaper angels in all our soul winning endeavors, thereby resulting in massive multitudes into the kingdom and this church. God has heard you and I. Lift up your hands. Lift up your voice. Begin to appreciate God for answers to our prayers this morning. Give him thanks. Magnify him. Father, thank you for hearing us and answering us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please put those beautiful hands together for the Lord and be seated. Next, we shall be praying. I'm praying for this nation. When we rise, we shall be decreeing, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, 
release your vengeance in the camp of the wicked and restore our lost glory as a nation. Are you shouting a louder amen? Isaiah chapter 63 and verse 4. For the day of vengeance is in my heart and the year of my redeemed is come. Rise up on your feet as we begin to pray saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, release your vengeance in the camp of the wicked and restore our lost glory as a nation. If you love this nation, lift up your voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, release your vengeance in the camp of the wicked. Release your vengeance in the camp of the wicked. Everyone that have said Nigeria will not progress. Everyone that have said this nation shall know no peace. Release your vengeance. Wherever they are, whosoever they are, whatever their network may be, release your vengeance in the camp of the wicked and restore our lost glory as a nation. Restore our lost glory as a nation. Restore our lost glory as a nation to every sector, to the financial sector, to the education sector, to the economic sector, to, Lord, every sector, the business sector, everywhere. In the name of Jesus, release your vengeance in the camp of the wicked. Lord, release your vengeance in the camp of the wicked. Every plan against, against the progress of this nation is thwarted. Lord, visit them with wrath and vengeance and restore our lost glory as a nation. Restore our beauty. Restore our lost glory as a nation. Lift up your voice. Make sure you are praying. Pray, pray. No soto bredia la brada shaka terara bradia. Natosia, Nagalabra diava shakatoria valas, Oto soco to se, Ledea, Natia radabra lolea va shakatara la balaba la baba. In the name of Jesus, release your vengeance in the camp of the wicked. Everyone in this nation perpetuating evil and saying there is no God. Lord, release your vengeance upon them. And Lord, restore our lost glory as a nation. Nariato Seketo, Mataralo Baba, to every sector in this nation, to the energy sector, to the health sector, to the finance sector, Lord, to the economic sector, the infrastructural sector, every sector of this nation, restore our lost glory, restore our lost glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, release your vengeance in the camp of the enemy. Release your vengeance, your vengeance, your vengeance and restore our lost glory. Power your prayer as you pray in the Holy Ghost. Nerobia, Naklato Sisa, Ragabalabara no Sheketerede, Lekopara, Rato Sekelelebosh, Bekoreba. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father. Wave your hands because he has answered. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Put your hands together for Jesus. Please be seated. Praise the Lord, I'm more than a conqueror. This morning, I have the privilege to welcome those of you who watch Pinos here in Living Faith Church Goshen for the very first time. Hallelujah. Please, wherever you're seated, and today is your first time in church, kindly stand to your feet in honor of Jesus as we specially recognize and welcome you to church. Hallelujah. Church, you're clapping for Jesus. Clap some more for him. Please stand to your feet and remain standing for a moment. And also for those of you worshiping us online from anywhere in the world, you're also specially recognized and welcome to church. Church, once again, put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> On behalf of Jesus, the head of the church, and the leadership of this great assembly here in Goshen, you're specially welcome. This is Living Faith Church Goshen, the home of signs and wonders. In this special communion service and healing banquet service, whatever affliction that you came with this morning, and every terminal of visible or invisible disease, this morning via the power in the communion and the entrance of his world that is able to heal and deliver you from every form of destruction, coming your way, you will surely return with your own testimony in the name of Jesus. Via this morning encounter, you believe that, shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. And as you remain planted here in Goshen, your life will never remain the same. 
I believe our church officials have given to you a package. Please go through this package when you get back home. We have inside life transforming ma ma materials designed to be a blessing to you. Take our time to study them. And as you sit down, there's a, a first summer data slip as shown on the screen. Kindly fill in all the details required there. And also at the base of that first summer data slip, we have a column for prayer requests. Please write down your heart desires and those pressing issues, especially that are troubling you in your life. And I tell you, just the way you heard people share testimony here, you shall return to share your own testimony in the name of Jesus. And I'm glad to let you know, God's servant, the bishop, and the team of pastors will pray on these items in the course of the week. And when that is done, you're next in line for a testimony in Jesus' precious name. And also for those of you worshiping us online, you have the privilege to download these live transforming materials via the link shown on your screen. And the second link is for those of you Connecting with us for the very first time, please also fill in uh, the first summer data slip as shown on the screen and also uh, fill in that uh, column for prayer requests. God is not limited by time, space, or location. Wherever you are this morning, God will surely touch you and give you your own testimony in the precious name of Jesus. Here when we pray, God answer, answer us speedily. Please kindly bow down your head and talk to God concerning these issues we came to church with. And let the entire church please stretch for your hand in their direction and agree with them concerning this morning blessing upon their life. Father, we have returned to say thank you in this special communion service and healing banquet service. Oh God, touch their spirit, touch their soul, touch their body. Give them an encounter of a lifetime this morning that will cause them to count in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please, when you're done filling the first summer data sleep, kindly pass it to the official standing next to you. Once again, you're welcome to church. Can be comfortable, seated, and enjoy the service. Put your hands together for Jesus, church. Praise the Lord, I'm more than a conqueror. It's time to bring our tithes and offerings. Let's begin to package them together. With this thought in mind from Deuteronomy 28, verse 12. He said, The Lord shall open unto you his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in a season, and to bless all the work of thy hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. May your giving terminate every tendency to borrow. And may everyone given today be healed in their finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are given in check, right Living Faith Church, Goshen. And if you are given by transfer, look at the board, check appropriate direction. And it shall be okay with your giving. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm sure we have done our giving. Let's mark it properly for accountability purpose. Shall we stand up? Lift it up before the Lord and worship the Lord with gracious word. For it's a privilege to give to God and to worship him with an offering. Father, I worship you. What a privilege this morning. To give unto you. Out of the much you gave to us, we have brought this. We have nothing of our own. Thank you for accepting it in our hands. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The Lord accept your offering. Heal you even in your finances. And give you a testimony. In Jesus' holy name. Shall we be seated? The choir minister, the offering is collected. God bless you. Hallelujah. God. 
is nigh. Show up now. God is going to show up. He is standing by. He is standing by. Don't be discouraged. No, no. Don't be discouraged. Joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. No, that God is not. Now you're gonna know that you're gonna stand, stand and look up. Still and look up. God is showing up God now. God is going to show up. He's standing by. He is standing by. That's him.
Raise your hand and shout, there is healing for my soul, my body, and my spirit. Well, Jesus Christ, the healer, is here this morning. Will you put your hands together in celebration of his presence? Hallelujah. Amen. Over the night, I had God kept saying to me, he healed them all. He healed them all. He healed them all. Are you one of them? Matthew 12, 15, Luke 6, 19. He healed them all. But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew himself from things and great multitudes followed him. And what did he do to them? Let me hear you say it if you are one of them. Luke 6 19 and a whole multitude sought to touch him for there went virtue out of him and healed them all so there is enough virtue for everyone here this morning will you receive your healing raise your hand and your voice proclaim your healing this morning spirit soul and body do it very loud. He healed them all. He healed them all. Virtue came out of him. Virtue is coming from Jesus, the healer, this morning. And from his world, the medicine of his world. Reaching out to someone here this morning. Lorondi Gilem Ranangle and Glolova. He healed them all. No one was left unhealed. No one left disappointed. Somebody concentrate your attention. Don't bother looking about somebody else. Take your healing. 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 Receive your healing. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus wonderful name we are praying lift up your hands everybody if you can i stand as jesus agent of healing this morning every word that is pronounced in this assembly this morning is filled with healing virtues receive us in the name of jesus i banish Every spirit of infirmity here this morning, I charge every unclean spirit be out of anybody this morning and return no more. And all who believe say a very loud amen. Give God a loud shout and a clap as well. This one. Please get seated. What a day in God's presence. I welcome you to this special communion and healing banquet service. You are taking your portion today. As we all know, banquet is free service. In every banquet, nobody serves your plate for you. You take your plate and go there and take as much as you want. Therefore, this morning, your healing is here. What more? Your healing is free. What more? You can take it to cover every area of your life. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, I'm more than conqueror. The prophetic focus for the month is Jesus Christ still heals and delivers today. Today. He has not changed. He cannot change. He is faithful. And ever so. What he did yesterday is doing today and he will still do tomorrow. Therefore, every testimony we've ever heard in the Gospels 
in Acts of the Apostles shall be fully duplicated here this morning. Amen. Say another loud amen. amen. If you agree, let it show with your louder amen. amen. Walking in dominion over sickness and disease is our teaching series every Sunday and this is part 2 B. It is ordained that the end time church will be operating and working in dominion in all spheres of life including dominion over sickness and disease before the return of Christ Daniel chapter 7 verses 25 to 27 tells us that he shall speak against the great wars against the most high and shall wear out the saints of the most high and think to change times and laws and the day shall be given unto, into his hand until the time and the times of the dividing of times. But the judgment shall see and they shall take away the dominion. We shall take away the dominion from the devil. That's the meaning. The dominion shall be restored back to church. What kind of dominion as it was in the beginning? In the beginning, God told man, have dominion. Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. And God blessed them. And he said unto them, have dominion. Have dominion. So God created man to have dominion and he gave them dominion. Say with me, I have dominion. Let me hear you very well. So at creation, God gave us dominion. When sin came, he lost the dominion. And Jesus came to restore the dominion. To capture it back. There was no sickness in Genesis. Chapter 1 and chapter 2. And God is restoring it back to us. Once you are born again, you are restored back to, get, get, no, uh, to, to Eden. The place of dominion. Will you say with me again, because I am a child of God. I have dominion. Over sickness, over disease. Psalm 110, verses 1 to 3. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. And so we can declare that the time is here when no one amongst us shall say again, I am sick. Isaiah 33, verse 24. The inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. Because the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. With forgiveness comes health. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not all of his benefits. Who forgiveth thy sick, thy iniquities. And he let all thy iniquity, thy diseases. If you are saved, then sickness has no more place in your body. Thou shalt not say, I am sick. So me, I'm no longer sick. I didn't hear you very well. Why? God said so. God said so. Don't tell me about what your doctor said. Don't tell me about how you feel in your body. God said, you shall no longer say, I am sick. Shout again, I'm no longer sick. Now, shout out the devil, I'm no longer sick. Harass every sickness saying, I'm no longer sick. Why? God said so. God said so. If you will testify this morning, say again, I have no sickness in my body. Be very violent about it. I have no sickness in my body. Now, one of the weapons for our total health is the communion table. And we'll be focusing on that. The communion table. But before then, let us clearly be reminded that sickness 
has spiritual connotation. Just as it is, generally speaking, everything in the physical has spiritual root. Every fruit has root. Sickness is negative fruit with satanic root. And that's why all through the gospel, Jesus referred to sickness and disease with the connotation of spirit behind it. He talked about the spirit of deafness and dumbness. He talked about the spirit of infirmity. And all of them are classified in what Jesus described as unclean spirit. Unclean spirit. Sickness is unclean. It makes people unclean. He gave his disciples power to cast unclean spirit out. Matthew chapter 10 verse 1. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirit. Say with me unclean spirit. Uh -huh. He gave them power against unclean spirit to cast them out. Not to be allowed to survive. To uproot them. As I speak this morning, every unclean spirit is cast out of here. Look at that passage again. Against unclean spirit. To cast them out. And to heal all manner of sickness. And all manner of disease. What does that mean? All manner of sickness, all manner of disease are rooted in unclean spirit. So when you deal with the root, you'll be able to cut the branches. You'll be able to cut the branches of sickness and healing. Sickness and disease are branches. They are branches and the root is unclean spirit. So when you deal with the root, the branches are off. By the power of the Holy Ghost, particularly as contained in the communion, I see every unclean spirit leave your body right now. Remember, he healed them all. He healed them all. Don't tell me how long your sickness and disease has been with you. Don't make a description of it. What I know is that Jesus healed them all. And you have agreed with me that you are one of them. Are you still one of them? Are you one of the people that Jesus healed? Say with me, I receive my healing. Right now. Now every family that is afflicted here this morning, I command total redemption and healing for such family in the name of Jesus. Matthew 8, 16 and 17. See how Jesus demonstrated it. And when evil was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirit with his word. He sent his word and his word healed them. And healed all that was sick. Can you see it again? The root unclean spirit. Sickness, the branch. That it might be fulfilled. That which was spoken by Elias, the prophet saying, himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses. Paul also used by God to demonstrate this. Acts chapter 11, chapter 19, verses 11 and 12. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. Just like this morning, by God's privilege, he's using my hand to wrought miracles over the lives of his people. As I speak God's word to you, I release your healing and deliverance right now look at that verse again verse 12 so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs and apron and diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them evil spirit went out of them evil spirit went out of them whatever evil spirit is tormenting your body I command that they depart from tormenting you right now now you agree with me, sickness is torment. Because anything that causes inconvenience and discomfort to the body is a torment. 
Satan torments people with sickness. But Jesus has given us power to be free from all such torments. For this reason, therefore, every word which I speak to you today, even right now, they are casting out the tormentors from your body. So unclean spirit is the root. Is the root of all satanic affliction. We also have what has been described as the spirit of insanity. Madness. The spirit of insanity. We saw the story of a man who was so insane in Mark chapter 5 verses 2 to 15. They had to tie him down with chain. And when they could no longer control him, the man was living in the graveyard, in the cemetery. The evil spirit drove him all the way to that place, cutting himself with stones. But as soon as he saw Jesus, he cried with a loud voice, What have I to do with you, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. So Satan is aware that he too can be tormented the way he torments people. Every tormentor over your life, I torment them right now. I torment your tormentors right now. I afflict your afflictors right now. I destroy your destroyers right now. I inflict upon them punishment the way they are punished you. And immediately, Jesus, by the authority that he had, got the devils out of that man. Got the devils out of him. As I speak to you right now, no devil will have access to you again. I said they will not have access to your home again. They will not have access to your children again. There is a story being shared in the testimony of a man whose house was invaded every night with witchcraft oppression according to his testimony every night they will come and land on his roof he said when they land on the roof it's like a plane landing on a airport tarmac wow they know they're in trouble and from there the child will be crying all through the night beating the child when they are done, they go to the fridge, to the freezer, and put their fingers in the soup. Very hungry witches. Amen. He said, but from the day he began to listen to my message in his house, they couldn't land again. They couldn't land again. From today, no devil shall be able to land around your house. No matter their number, no matter where they come from, please listen to this very well. Because they recognize the voice that is speaking to you right now. They do, they do, they do, they do. They recognize the voice of Jesus and began to cry. And what happened at the end of the day, verse 15, everybody who came, they met this man that was possessed with the devil and had a legion sitting and close and in his right mind in his right mind in his right mind i command full restoration to everyone under satanic torment of affliction yeah. acts chapter 10 verse 38 our god anointed jesus christ of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good healing all them that were oppressed oppressed of the devil sickness is oppression of the devil you better face it right otherwise you waste your money going from america to germany from germany to japan looking for old ancient and modern way of healing don't waste your resources your healing is here there's a bomb in gilead don't waste your resources there's a physician here Stop saying my, 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 my doctor in France, my doctor in the United Kingdom, my doctor. Abba, what doctor? The doctor that will die when you have an eternal doctor, the one that has no break, the one that does not go and break, 
the one that does not refer a case to another doctor. I mean, you have it free. You have it free. Why are you suffering under oppression when you can take this communion? It has no side effect. No side effect. You just take it and swallow it day and night and you are free. Free from cancer. Free from affliction. Free from shame. Free from sorrow. Say loud amen. Some years back, a young man who was then speaker of the House of Assembly in Taraba State, he was going according to him for medical checkup or rather for medical treatment in United Kingdom because of the affliction he had suffered. It was so bad that a doctor had to follow him. He couldn't handle himself. And they had a night stop here. Came to church on Wednesday, took communion. Just communion. Just took communion. When I say just, I don't mean to be mean the communion. I'm just telling you how simple it is. The simplicity of this in the gospel. The following morning, before the doctor will come to wake him up, he has woken up. The doctor was surprised. Are you the one? What's happening here? Anyway, they took the journey. Got to meet the doctor. And the doctor said, what kind of funny doctors do you have in Nigeria? What I'm saying here is different from what I'm saying in you. What's happening? They checked him up. No stranger was there again. By the time he spoke to his wife, he said, guess what's happening? Are you in the hospital? No, I'm not in the hospital. I'm here in the supermarket. Anything you want, can you order for it right now? Because medical treatment money are turned to shopping money. I decree today that all your expenses on medical treatment are turned into pleasure expenses. You don't have to suffer again. Say with me, I will not suffer again. You don't have to be sick again. Say with me, I will not be sick again. Amen. This one you are taking this morning is cheaper and it is safer. Cheaper and safer. Cheaper and safer. Ah, I see many people rushing to the altar to share their testimony this morning. How does the Holy Communion empower us for dominion over sickness and disease? First of all, understand that the Holy Communion is a kingdom medication. A kingdom toast for strength, health, and longevity. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 30, while educating people on the application of the communion table, he talked about those who took it wrongfully. And for this cause, many are weak and sick among you, and many die. He was talking about those who take it wrongfully. So which means if you take it with understanding and rightfully, you will not die. Rather, you will be strong, you will be healthy, and you will live long. See, I believe. We've had testimonies of people who took this. A lady had a menstrual you know, cycle terminated for 10 years. As soon as she took the communion, the menstrual flow commenced. The power of God. Strength, vitality, longevity, insanity disappearing, cancer dying. You will testify. <laughs> SS, turn AA by the communion. By the communion. Production of X. For those who are said to be barren, production of spams in their full strength for those who are called impotent. This one is more than enough. The bomb in Gilead. Take it this morning, you are totally free. The communion is a medium for transference. Listen to this. For the transfer of the Jesus order of life. They call it divine life. 
unpolluted divine life they call it eternal life the life of God the life that is sickness free void of diseases <laughs> we call it angelic life Psalm 78 verse 24 and 25 they ate the food of angels and he rained down manna upon them to eat and had given them of the corn of heaven corn of heaven food from heaven man did eat angels food he sent them meat to the food what they ate in the old testament was angels food and what happened Psalm 105 verse 37 as a result he brought them forth also with silver and gold and there was not one weak or feeble person among their tribe there was no weakness they were taking bread from heaven they were not aware of any sickness as you take this communion today I banish every feebleness from your body called impotent your potency shall be restored back to you today every woman called inf infertile your fertility your fertility is fully restored now weakness of liver weakness of kidney difficulty of breathing brain damage whatever you call it every form of affliction I see them disappear right now a young man came for communion service a day before they will carry out mental surgery for him brain surgery for him because according to them they said he had brain damage he took the communion after the service he came his brother brought him I say, hey, go, return with your testimony. And he asked the brother, is that all? I say, that's all. He has already prayed. That's all. When you know what to say, you don't waste time. By the time they got to the hospital for pre-surgery check, they checked and checked and checked. The brain damage had disappeared. Disappeared by the power of God. What they saw that they need to remove had been removed by the communion. The blood of Jesus. The bread from heaven. I can't wait to hear your testimony this morning. If you will testify, shout, I will testify. The Holy Communion empowers us to live like Christ. Ah, say, I believe. To live like who? To live like who? You know, Jesus said, As the Father has sent me, so send are you. John 20 21. As the Father has sent me, John 17 18 the same thing as the father has sent me so said, God sent him to be healthy and you have no business with sickness Jesus came healthy you have no business with sickness Jesus came healthy you are his representative you are his duplicate you are to show to the world how Jesus lived he came healthy you have no business with sickness Say with me, I have no business with sickness. Sickness does not represent Jesus. Oh, you are not saying it very well. <laughs> have you ever seen a father whose child is sick and he tapped the child on the back? He said, my, my son, I'm very proud you are sick. I'm very proud you are sick. <laughs> is there any father like that here? when your child is sick he shows on your face that means you are not happy you don't like it so anytime there is sickness jesus is not happy he doesn't like it that's why when he was here everybody he met sick he didn't waste time he didn't waste time to heal them he didn't waste time to heal them your father is not happy that sickness is in your body he cannot wait for you to be healed say i receive my healing i didn't hear you very well you are living here not only to testify but as a testimony 
John 6, 53 to 54 and then 57. Hear what Jesus said. Very liberally I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, flesh, blood, you have no life in you. Which means if you eat the bread and drink the blood, you have life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, divine order of life, and I will raise him up at the last day. As the living Father has sent me, can you see that now? He sent me, healthy. And I live by the Father. So he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. So you are taking the nature of Jesus so you can live like him. As the living Father, verse 57, as the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. So Jesus is on this table. Jesus is in the bread here. Jesus is in the drink here. His flesh is here. His blood is here. Say loud, amen. amen. From the passages we have read, you discover that the Holy Communion is made up of one, the bread, which we call flesh, and number two, drink, which we call the blood. Matthew chapter 26 verses 26 all the way to 28 and 9 and as they were eating Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said take eat this is my body he took bread what did he take he took bread he spake and the bread became flesh and the word became flesh Physically, you are taking some kind of flakes, bread. But because Jesus spake to it, it has turned from bread into flesh. Say loud, amen. amen. And verse 27. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. Why? For this is my blood. Uh -uh. Drink. How did he become the blood? When he spoke to it. You see, what becomes of anything is the word we speak into it. What becomes of anything is the word we speak into it. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Jesus spoke to the sea. Fish came out of it. At another time, he spoke to the river. Healing for the blind man came out of it. Every time God speaks to a thing, it becomes the thing for which it is being spoken to. So, see beyond the physical. You are taking it physically, but it is turned into something else from your hand to your inside. In your hand, it is bread. Inside you, it is flesh. In your hand, it is cup. Inside you is the blood. Say loud, amen. That's why Paul called it the cup of blessing. 1 Corinthians 10, 16. The cup of blessing. The cup of blessing which we bless. Is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break. Is it not the communion of the body of Christ? To be more specific what is in the flesh by revelation the bread can be likened to the rod of God that swallows up all the rods of the magicians in our bodies that is you know magic is diabolical that is to say if there are afflictions that came to your body diabolically somebody threw charm at you somebody made enchantment against you and all kinds of took your name to a charm maker inflicted you with sickness including insanity that's the road the road the magician's road the abolical road but you know there was the road of moses that swallowed them Amen. <laughs> so when you take this communion today, it will go to the root. 
of where the diabolical forces are come out come out come out swallowing them one after the other this communion will swallow up every diabolical force in your body exodus chapter 7 verse 11 the rod of moses swallowed up the magician's rod if you read down to verse 12 he swallowed all their rod number two the bread the flesh can also represent the miracle meal that neutralizes all forms of poison in the body so as to set you free from their negative impact that is if you took anything as a poison you know jesus promised us you shall take deadly thing and they shall not harm you in case you took something as a poison you didn't know this is the answer this is the cure see i receive it in second kings chapter 4 verses 39 to 41 a time came the sons of the prophet they cooked they didn't know there was poison and they began to trouble them and prophet elisha told them to put certain you know material things some some you know uh, light that god gave to him and they threw it inside the pottage and as soon as they put it inside the pottage all the sicknesses the poison effect disappear as you take this communion today the stranger will disappear from you you know there is a physical pot and there is the biological pot your stomach is the biological pot when you eat the cooked food from the pot the stomach recooks it we call it digestion so when you take the communion it goes to the cooking pot of your belly to go and attack any poison you have taken in case there is any poison effect in your body which has tormented you which has been a moving object in your body they shall be arrested and swallowed today number three what's in the communion what is in the bread the bread is the new testament manner that destroys all forms of weaknesses and feebleness remember as a result of that angelic food they took none of them was feeble psalm 105 verse 37 there was none feeble or weak amongst them rheumatism you walk a little bit you are weak you trek 100 meters you can't carry your leg again all those weaknesses of the body your eyes are weak you can't see clearly your hands are weak you can't carry things weakness of the body pain in the waist we had a number of them this morning somebody said i've suffered waist pain for three years another person for several years the chains were loosed there was none feeble among them none feeble among them you're a pastor you can't preach one message in one week you have to rest for the remaining part of the week there was none weak amongst them there was none weak amongst them i command every form of weakness of body beginning from the head to your toes every form of weakness that will not let you carry out your responsibility they are swallowed up this morning in the name of jesus none was weak amongst them deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 none was weak amongst them he gave them the bread that terminated weakness he fed thee with manna he fed thee with manna you are taking this new testament manna today jesus was never weak you will never be weak again john 6 58 john 6 58 whatever duty you couldn't perform before now you start performing them this is that bread which came down from heaven not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead he that eateth of this bread shall live forever say loud amen. amen somebody said he couldn't perform his responsibility towards his wife for over three years but upon taking communion his body jacked back to life his body jacked back to life 
I command every biological weakness, every reproductive weakness, weakness of uterus, weakness of womb, weakness of fertility. I decree that your weaknesses be turned into strength right now. Now, number four, what is in the flesh? It's an eye opening miracle. Eye opening miracle. Eye opening miracle. Ability to see like Jesus saw. Both scriptures and visions. Luke 24, verses 30 to 31. And it came to pass as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and break it and gave to them. And what happened? And their eyes were open. And their eyes were open. Ah. Every opportunity that's available to you, your eyes will be open to see them. Put your hand on your eyes, please. I decree as you take this communion today, your eyes will be open to diverse opportunities that await you. Open my eyes, therefore. According to the prayer of David, that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. Now, as we begin to round up, what is in the drink? We have talked about what is in the flesh, which is the bread. What is in the drink? That is the blood. Now, the nature of Christ that is immune to sickness and disease. Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11. Clearly written. The life of the flesh is in the blood. The life of the flesh is in the blood. So blood is life and life is blood. When blood is out, life is gone. Quality of blood also determines quality of life. If the blood is good, the body will be sound. And so Jesus, wanting to transfer his life to us, said, this is my blood. Drink ye all, take it all, take it full. This is my blood. Jesus meant to say, I want to give to you what made me to live a good life. I want to give to you what made me to live strong. I want to give to you what made me to live healthy. So when he gave us the communion, he gave us his life. Say loud, amen. amen. As you take this communion this morning, what are you taking? Amen. Oh, I want to hear you very well. Amen. What are you taking? Amen. What kind of life? divine life the life of Jesus divine life the life of Jesus take it every day get more of it go and buy and be taking it every day for life say loud amen, amen. God's servant Bishop Oedipo, when his first son was young he was having you know nose running he took the communion and gave it to the baby baby take this and suddenly the nose dried up. Life. Life. Jesus wasn't carrying handkerchief. Out of nose running. He wasn't sneezing. He was full of life. Say I received that life. Now, we share the same blood group with Christ through the communion. Through the mystery of the Holy Communion. That empowers us over sicknesses and diseases. We have made reference to several scriptures. This is my blood. This is my blood. This is my blood. Again, Matthew chapter 26, verse 27 and 28. John 6, 57. This is my blood. This is my blood. He kept repeating it. Take it. Take it all. John 6, 57. As the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father. So he that eateth me and drinketh me, even he shall live by me. Therefore, the blood in the communion can be likened to the white blood corpuscles. Those of us who understand a bit of biology and uh, medical science. That's what they call the, the, the red blood corpuscles and the white blood corpuscles. The white blood corpuscles are the ones they call the soldiers. The soldiers of the blood. What do they do? They go around to arrest everything afflicting your body. They defend the body against all assault of sickness and disease. That's what the white blood corpuscles are. They are the soldiers in your body. They are the builders of your immune system. 
when sickness is coming they say no you can't enter here so also is the communion the communion is the defender of your health when you take the communion your body builds up a defense against the arrows of the enemy when enemy is coming say no you can't enter here diabetes no you can't enter here high blood pressure no you can't enter here cancer no growth no you can't enter here as you take this communion it will be speaking you know the blood speaks it speaks better thing than the blood of Abel. the blood of jesus you partake of this morning will be speaking on your behalf if you believe say i believe the blood speaks hebrews chapter 12 from verse 24 and to jesus the blood of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of abel the blood speaks the blood speaks verse 25 you see the blood speaks the blood see that he refused not him that speaketh don't refuse the communion because when he enters your body it will be speaking it will be speaking it will be speaking it will be speaking from today the blood of jesus will be speaking inside you you know socially we talk about the blood speaking when somebody meets that they have not met for a while especially relations they say the blood is speaking the blood is speaking the blood is speaking <laughs> the blood of jesus your older brother will be speaking for you from today in the name of jesus are you ready for it give god a big hand because the blood is working for me the blood is working for you in the name of jesus christ quickly this morning you need the cleansing blood before you can assess the communion blood the cleansing blood the blood that cleanses our sin from us we are cleansed from our iniquity by the blood of jesus the blood of jesus purges our sin and after that it now gives us power to live in health my wonderful friends brothers and sisters here this morning you know that you are not born again your spirit man your conscience is telling you that you don't have the life of god you know it there is no relationship between you and god you are only claiming to know him he doesn't know you you come to church but your name is not in this register church attendance does not equal salvation no not at all if you don't know who has experienced that look at me here very zealous i was a church person but i was not born again so i gave my life to jesus some 45 years ago and i've not regretted it once wherever you are seated this morning you know you are not born again you are still living in sin i don't mean to accuse you but i'm telling you what you too know you too you know you are living in sin you are living in sin you know it why don't you free yourself right now free yourself by running to jesus by receiving salvation somebody here is saying pastor please pray for me that's why i'm stopping right now you want to be prayed for you want to be free from sin whether you are in the service here live or you are watching this service from anywhere stand to your feet right now stand to your feet no hesitation don't say i will decide later decide now because today is your day of salvation the devil is a deceiver don't let him tell you later don't wait till later later may be late i want to thank god for all of you who are standing up already all of you who are here to stand up join them maybe you gave your life to jesus before but you are challenged and you withdrew you want to be restored back to the faith you want to be restored back to jesus because life out there is very tough life out there is full of torment and punishment i am returning back to jesus stand up as well all of you who have stood up and those who will join them carry anything you come to church with and start coming to the altar here right now right now start coming right now pick your bible whatever you come to church with you came alone you came with somebody start coming start coming you came with children don't leave your children behind if you invited somebody to come and he doesn't want to come alone you can come with him come with the person right now come together come together come together come together if you're on the gallery please join them on the ground floor here right now i can see the church getting excited because souls are getting saved this morning come somebody is still seated there your heart is telling you to come to the altar stop arguing ah, 
you are too you are too good to be arguing in your mind the choice for good is here he said i lay before you to make a choice for life don't choose destruction when you can choose life come on if you are coming hasten your step down here run down here if you are especially if you are from far far off god bless you god bless you church another big hand thank you lord now the spirit tells me there are other 15 people not less than 15 people who are still seated you are watching you are procrastinating you are arguing in your mind must i go to the front it's not about coming to the front it's about coming to jesus your coming here is only to openly identify with jesus if you are one of them stand up now i will not let the devil have you you must be rescued you are one of the 15 people i mentioned you know you ought to be saved today today is your day of salvation come on stand up don't hesitate i can see some people coming from afar if you are hasten your step god bless you church another big clap as we receive them satan you have no power to hold down any soul here today god bless you come on they are coming 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus as you are coming you join us right now including everyone who is online with us in the service this morning please bow your head everyone bow your heads please in honor of jesus lift up your right hand as a mark of surrenderedness to jesus and say this prayer loud say with me lord jesus please have mercy on me save me from my sin i confess today and i believe in my heart jesus died for me on the third day he rose again for my justification now that i believe i am born again i declare jesus christ as my lord and my savior and i receive power over sin from today i go from here and sin no more jesus thank you for saving me write my name in the book of life i will follow you all the days of my life in jesus name heavenly father we declare that these souls are saved eternally in jesus precious name amen please open your eyes how do you feel praying that prayer it's a new day for you jesus has come into your heart i'd like you to patiently follow our church officials they will attend to you and give you all the attention that you need they may take your little of your time but please be patient as they take you through some basic things you need to know about the new faith you have received from the middle to my right and others to this side god bless you church i thought you are getting excited god bless you out there god bless you come on clap some more for them as they go wonderful people newly born in christ they've made up their mind no devil can arrest them any longer oh keep clapping for them as they go please thank you jesus amen so me i believe in the mystery of the holy communion now in case you watched us out live you gave your life to jesus look at the screen that's what you need to do just take your telephone right now send a message to us yes jesus with your name your city town or anywhere you are coming calling from to any of their addresses either sms or whatsapp message god bless you in jesus name amen and he healed them all how many of them did he heal are you one of them say bye bye to sickness bye bye to disease i'm living here today completely healed another loud amen torment the devil with your loud amen chase away sickness with another strong amen the word of a bible institute is commencing tomorrow in case you have not been there you need to in goshen new Karu, um, and the other locations that have been mentioned please ensure you get there in case you are planning to the forms the enrollment forms are here with us in the service you don't need to look for them after the service you raise your hand they'll pass them on to you right now please pick your copy including your new converts please lead your new converts to the world for rapid growth if you take them to the world 
you never need to struggle to follow them all. I commend you unto God, Paul said, to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. God's word is the number one builder of new converts. Please make sure you take them through the Bible school. If they need your assistance, transportation and all of that, cater for them joyfully and abundantly. God bless you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. The course of the week, we'll be having our midweek service, uh, very important, so that you can get strengthened for additional strength in the course of the week. We'll covenant our prayer every day, Monday all the way to Saturday, 5.30 a.m. Build up your revival fire every moment. Good news for next Sunday. Amen. Next Sunday, we'll be attacking generational causes. What did I say? Attacking generational causes. Cursing your causes. Destroying your destroyer. Tormenting your tormentors. Killing those who want to kill you. Breaking generational causes. Breaking generational causes. How? By releasing generational blessing. Releasing generational blessing through the mystery of the anointing oil. Make sure you don't miss it. Come with your bottle of oil and experience God in the most unique way. It's a new day for you. Rise to your feet. Invite as many as you can. It's our Operation Andrew Week. That means next Sunday, you are not coming to church alone. You are coming with minimum one person. Minimum. Let me tell you, neighbor, you are coming to church next Sunday. With minimum one person. Ask your neighbor, what about you? What are you coming with? Uh -huh. Don't tell me I should come next Sunday with somebody and you are not coming with anybody. Everybody. We must rescue the sinners. They are everywhere. They are dying every day. Go for their rescue. Go for their rescue. All you need to do is tell somebody. If you cannot preach, tell him, invite him to come to church. If you cannot preach, invite him. If you cannot preach, invite them. And on Saturday, to facilitate this, we'll be having the district soul winning outreach. Please make sure you join them in your district. And let's go to the field, to the highway and edges, to the lanes and the street, and compel them to come. Another loud amen, please. Yeah. You will not miss your blessing. Don't forget to attend the Winner Satellite Fellowship on Saturdays and getting all of your new converts to go with you. All regional, provincial, district ministers and secretaries, very special meeting at the end of the third service. Brisk and we're all gone. Now, lift up your hand again and give thanks to God for the mystery of the communion table and begin to thank God for the power of the blood, for the power of the flesh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. In this church, every first-time worshiper is very important to us. Every first-time worshiper is important to us because we believe God brought you to bless you. So we don't want you to pass through here without receiving pastoral blessing. If today is your first day worshiping in this church, I want to request you on the behalf of the church come to the altar and at the altar will serve you your communion so you can receive the fullness of God's blessing. All first time worshippers, please walk through the aisles straight to the altar to receive your blessing. Meanwhile, everybody in the assembly begin to declare what you expect from this communion table. Sickness free. Sickness free. Disease free. Raise your voice and declare don't let medical report hold you down. Declare your liberty. Declare your freedom. All first time worshippers, as you are coming to the altar, Jesus will visit you at this altar. Jesus will visit you at this altar. Jesus will visit you at this altar. Jesus will touch you at this altar. Jesus will change your story at this altar. Jesus will heal you at this altar. Jesus will transform you at this altar. Jesus will replace everything damaged in your body at this altar. My God, I see miracles taking place right now. I see all manner of miracles taking place right now. If you came with children, don't leave your children behind. If you came with your bag, your Bible, don't leave anything behind. Come on quickly. Come on. It's you I'm waiting for. Come on. Come on right now. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' wonderful name we are praying. Now, Say with me, Lord Jesus, I partake of your blood and of your flesh for my total 
energy restoration of my health vitality and longevity no more sickness for me no more affliction for me in Jesus name I declare this communion table blessed as you partake of it life is fully surging out of you now receive your healing receive your liberty no more affliction for you no more affliction in your family in Jesus glorious name please get seated everyone in the assembly and our officials will go quickly through the crowd take your own communion and be in the spirit be praying as we are taking yours meanwhile all of our friends brothers and sisters at the altar here we are so much delighted to see all of you this morning I'd like you to know that your presence here is recognized by heaven God knew why he brought you and the purpose for which he brought you shall be accomplished this morning in the name of Jesus we welcome you we love you and God bless you mightily is any of you happy that you are here this morning that happiness and joy will go home with you we declare you blessed in the name of God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit in Jesus name you will take your communion and our officials will lead you to where they will attend to you please be patient don't be in a hurry in case you came by church transportation they will take you back so don't be worried about that God bless you please take your portion as you go from the middle to my right and on this other side God bless you God bless you God bless you God bless you choir sing your powerful songs right now songs of the blood songs of signs and wonders songs of miracle songs of healing let's go right now Everybody. there is power mighty in the blood come on there is power mighty in the blood there is power mighty in the blood of jesus christ there is power Thank you, mighty jesus. in the blood there is power there is power mighty in the blood there is power there is mighty power Jesus Christ, there is healing power in the blood. There is healing. There is healing power in the blood. There is healing. There is healing power in the blood. So much healing power in the blood of Jesus. There is healing power in the blood. I know He rescued my soul. His blood has healed my disease. I believe.
Glory to God. Man, I cannot see any devil stopping you from the manifestation of your healing this morning. As we keep singing, everyone who has received a touch from the Lord, and you know it, you come out here and share your testimony. How do you know you are sick? By symptom. How do you know you are healed? By the departure of the symptom. Very simple. So if you discover some strange things have left your body, you come to testify. Don't delay. Delay in your testimony will give the devil opportunity to create doubt in you and come back. You must let the devil know you can't return back to my body. How? Jump out and share your testimonies right now. Choir, keep raising your song in a higher level of praise. And everybody who has received the church of the Lord, come share your testimony. Don't be in a hurry to go. We'll be sharing prophetic blessing before we round up this morning. Come on, let's go right now. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the sound of healing. everyone in the assembly will take the number of testimonies here and uh, thereafter the prophetic blessing and be on our way 
if you hear your name being called, you just come on here quickly to show yourself to God and giving him all the glory. And all of us hearing these testimonies, there will be duplications in your life in Jesus' name. The fastest you can please. Antonia Emmanuel, 25 years of affliction, he by the power of the communion. 25 years of what? Dauda Yakubu, 20 years of lungs and stomach pains, he by the power of God. Comfort Lolo, healed of 10 years diabetics and waist pain. Lucas Martina, two years of ulcer pain and body pain healed by the power of God. Angela Devi, five years of waist pain and body weakness healed. Undubisi Okoro, 10 years of chest pain healed by the power of God. Emmanuel Tesho, 10 years of swollen leg, body weakness, severe headache healed by the power of God. Vincent Tower, 5 years of pains in the leg healed by the power of God Adagba Emmanuel fever for two years gone by the communion Nasiru Shuaibo one year of headache disappeared by the power of God A.K. Paul two months of kneel and muscle pain here. Thank you, Jesus. Precious Ikechuku, two years of unequal legs, legs not balanced, but healed by the power of the communion. Unequal legs. Ungozi Audu, satanic disturbances, witchcraft, attack on our body. Causing itching. Two years healed by the power of God. Matthew Simon. During the course of the service, he got a miracle call for a job. John Chuku. Seven months of chest pain. Healed by the power of God. Benedict Emmanuel. He has been living in confusion, disabilities, but God is healing by the communion. Since please, past, let's rise Benedict and give glory to God. Emmanuel. Let's rise up, please, and give glory to God. All the testimonies are so many, we can't take everything. In that testimony of fever for one day healed, of 20 years of affliction gone, they are all the acts of the Lord. We thank God for all of you who came out to testify this morning. Your testimony shall remain. Satan has lost the battle over your lives. To God be the glory forever. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever the Lord doeth shall be forever. His miracle hand upon your lives are forever. Please start going back to your seat as we keep giving glory to God. If you are not called, and you want to share your testimony still, you can go to the basement where you, they will document your testimony. Everybody give God a big hand. It's worthy of our praise. Thank you, Jesus. 62 people came out to share their testimony this morning. In the first service, we had 42. Can't you see the wonders of God? In this assembly alone, ah, what a favor, what a favor. God healing. Over 100 people this morning, let us give him a very big hand. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody look at there. Look at me here. What a man does not have, he cannot give. I want to pray over your life now. Sickness free life. Do you want it? In 10 years, you'll be testifying. 20 years, you'll be testifying. 
that the only thing you take is food. That's all that I take. I take only food. Only food. Only food. You will testify from now. Remember, the inhabitants of winners shall no longer say, I am sick. You will no longer say it. I say you will no longer say so. You will no longer say so. I declare your family sickness free. I declare your spouses sickness free. I declare your children sickness free. I declare your parents sickness free. I declare you sickness free from today. Go home and suffer no more sickness. This week will be most productive for you. Most fulfilling for you. Most favorable for you. Every door you knock for good, this week will open to you. Places where you least expected, they will call you to deliver to you what belongs to you. No accident this week. No robbery attack on you this week. No banditry attack on you this week. No kidnapping for any member of your family. It is well with you. Bring your hands to your body as you embrace the blessing of the Lord. Blessing yourself with the goodness of the Lord. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm more than conqueror. Congratulations. Greet your neighbors as you go. Assure them no more sickness from you. Assure them I will hear your testimony this week. You are blessed. 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 And you are blessed. And you are blessed. And you are blessed. And you are blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. If you came into the service after the offering was taken, please note you can still cast your offerings with the officials at all the entrances as you do so. Be 